Everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Friday, February 26th. Let's go over today's trades and I'll give you a little recap for the week starting February 22nd. So just took one mighty 90 trade today in Tesla. It was a $698 loser. Had a nice pairs trade today in the NASDAQ versus the Dow for plus 468.50. And then on the runners, uh, three for two, uh, three for five, three and two, I should say. Uh, DK and G got us for a little over a thousand. Microsoft nice winner five twenty. Netflix plus four twenty. Tesla minus four ten. And then Twitter plus nine forty one. Our biggest winner in Twitter. So uh, let's go over these, and I'll come back and recap the week. So starting with uh, our mighty ninety in Tesla, and I'll go over the runner in Tesla as well while we're here. So when Tesla had this initial flush lower, the market was just falling apart again. The market's getting a little bit jittery, but we had this uh, nice flush, uh, big volume bars. I, I got uh, long right here. I think we might get a bounce. Uh, did not. As it, as it pushed down to this pivot, I, I scaled in with a little bit more size here, and it just kind of chopped, pushed down, pushed up. I got out of some on this bounce here, held the rest, and finally it bounced up. And I went ahead and just closed out uh, my re remaining piece there. So uh, that was my mighty 90. So that's the one we took a 698 loss on. And then I also took a, a loss on the runner on Tesla. So when it bounced up to that unchanged mark, the market was still looking a little shaky. So I was looking for uh, something to get short. And Tesla looked like it, it may want to re get rejected of going positive here, which happens a lot. And it did not. So instead of falling down, it kept pushing up. And so when it pulled back here, I just went ahead and uh, cut out of that trade and got out for loss on that one too. So got a little bit double whammied in Tesla today, uh, but still came out with a green p &L overall, but Tesla was uh, was one of my bigger losers. Uh, onto the runners, uh, we did DKNG, Donkey Kong. And in DKNG, uh, you know, had this massive volume bar here. So on this pullback, we got long looking for a potential continuation, but again, the market just fell apart, really just flushing us out. Uh, I scaled in one more time uh, to add to DKNG. They just chopped around, chopped around, chopped around. When it, it, did, it looked like it was having a hard time getting through this pivot. So when it bounced up here, I, I did go ahead and close out half just to reduce my risk overall. Uh, I kept the other half, uh, which, which ended up paying off nicely here. And I kept it all the way up until I got out, I think right here just a few minutes ago. Uh, so ended up taking a loss overall on DKNG, uh, but got a bunch of it back on that last piece. Microsoft plus 520. So in Microsoft, did an upside runner here. Uh, as the market started to rebound and get strong again, we were looking for potential uh, upside runners. And so in Microsoft, is is chopping around. is one of the stronger stocks on the day. It's currently up 2.5%. Uh, chopping around here. Got long, and then my idea was to add to it if it came down to yesterday's open, this orange line. So I did that. Took a little bit of heat, but then it fired up, and we kind of scaled out of some here, and then scaled out of the rest. I think I got out of the rest right here at yesterday's high. Uh, so booked a nice profit of 520 on Microsoft. Netflix plus 420. Uh, so in micro uh, Netflix, right around the same time we got in Microsoft, uh, same thing. Market had been strong, getting some good pushes. Uh, this thing kind of started consolidating uh, in positive territory. Looked like it was going to hold. Did take a little heat here as well, but then finally pushed up. Got out of my last piece right here near the current top of the day. Uh, I mentioned already mentioned Tesla. And then lastly, Twitter. So Twitter was a volume runner that we took early in the day, and uh, we took a lot of heat on Twitter. Uh, so Twitter had this initial push up, massive volume spike. We got long on this little pullback here, looking for a potential continuation. Had to sit through all this chop, 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 and it finally came around. And then we started scaling out of our position, getting out of some here, got out of some here, and the last piece, you know, somewhere in here as well. So booked a nice winner of 941 in uh, Twitter. Had to be really patient though, but Twitter staying strong. You know, it's up five and a half percent on the day which gave me a little more confidence to hold on. And it really, you know, it never broke through the lows of the day. Uh, so it was, uh, you know, ended up being a good trade, just took a lot of heat on it. So plus $221.50 on the day. Let's take a look at how we did for the week. Let me bring my uh, tracking sheet back over. So on the Mighty 90 front, let me widen this out a little bit. 
Mighty 90 front was a little rough, m- minus 1,900 uh, on the week. Only took seven trades. we we, we got to have our winning percentage up closer into that 60%, 70% on the Mighty 90s to really have uh, be profitable. You can see we had a nice profit on Tuesday and Wednesday, but the other three days were red. Uh, jumped back into taking um, several pairs trades this week. Booked over $1,100 in profits in pairs trades on just four trades. Uh, did one in gold versus silver, another one in gold versus silver, Dow versus NASDAQ, and then today, uh, Dow versus NASDAQ as well. So four pairs trades, all four winners, so nice 100% win rate on those this week, obviously a small sample size, but uh, I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm tweaking kind of my strategy on, on entering pairs trades, and uh, this week and last week, it's been starting to work, uh, work pretty well. We still haven't rolled out our official pairs trading class uh, part of the reason is just, it's just been a little bit inconsistent. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roll out a strategy to you all that I that I'm not confident in. Uh, I'm willing to test it with my own money, and 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 I do this live in front of our members every day. But um, but I'm not gonna roll out the official strategy class until we have it down to, to where we really feel confident that we're gonna be providing something of value. So. That'll be coming at some point, uh, just still kind of working out some of the kinks in that pairs trading strategy. And then on the runners, uh, runners continue to be phenomenal, plus $3,400 on 27 trades, 60-ish percent win rate. Uh, just the one uh, losing day on Monday with the runners, all four of Tuesday through Friday, all winners, including today. And so if we go to our summary here, you can see uh, Mighty 90s, we're now at a little over 9,000 total. Uh, pairs trades plus 832. Total on the runners just cracked the $40,000 level just on the runners and just cracked the $50,000 level on all of our uh, day trades going back to August 31st. And so, you know, runners continue to perform the best. We just cracked over 1,000 uh, um, runners on our the number of trades that we've taken. Average winning percentage approaching 60%. Uh, we got to get we got to get that mighty 90 up closer to 70, and then on the pairs trades, like I said, still working out some kinks. So um, all is good in day trading land. We're going to come back. Uh, you know, the mighty 90. Just to comment on the mighty 90s. You know, uh, the one thing that I would say kind of hurt us here is uh, a we were being a little bit selective, as you can see, only seven trades, but b um, the the, the the pushes that we've seen this week, obviously to the downside, have been pretty pretty significant compared to normal. And so when you see that, you know, you're getting in at a point where you think is a good entry point, a good point of that that price is going to reverse. And if, if you get those extended moves in the overall market, that's going to bleed into the stocks that you're trading typically too. And so we saw a lot of that this week. So came out red on the mighty 90s, but that's why it's important to have multiple strategies as well because down on Mighty 90s, but just rocking on the runners. So uh, continuing to do well. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Um, we'll send out kind of, the, this is the last trading day of February. So we'll send out the the February results, including day trading. But you can see here, uh, just in summary, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, dollars this month in day trading total. So uh, continues to be phenomenal. If you have not jumped in to the day trading yet, and you want to uh, stream live every morning, 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central uh, for the first 90 minutes at least of the market open. Uh, today we went till about 11 th- or 11.30. Uh, so sometimes it warrants a little bit more time, but we like to be out after the first 90 minutes or so, and it's fun stuff. So look forward to seeing you there. If you guys have any questions, let me know.